Hey guys, Francis here. You ready to learn six quick fixes for knee health? Here we go. We're gonna start with a little bit of strength uh, and we're gonna work with some smaller muscles first and then go with some bigger ones. We're gonna just kind of start with a foam roll. If you don't have a foam roll, you can use a rolled up towel. I wanna focus on the kneecaps facing straight up toward the ceiling. I like to say chiclet to the sky. So chiclet to the sky. And the first thing you do is push the back of your knee down into your prop and straighten the leg. It's that last five degrees of straightening where we're gonna to connect to the vastus medialis muscle. If you uh, trace it from the kneecap just up a little bit and over toward the middle, right? That's where you're, you're looking to engage that muscle. I like to imagine a, a almost cartoonish image of like the Incredible Hulk. And you can see how defined those quads are. And you can really visualize that, that middle one is what you're trying to get to. A lot of people, this uh, muscle is really uh, not very defined at all and um, kind of weak. So we want to make sure we get that nice and strong. And by pushing down, uh, we're working to get in contact with that muscle a little more specifically. If you start to feel like you got it, um, if sometimes the hip flexors can get engaged so you can do this line down instead. So chiclets to the sky, push it down to work that straightness, squeeze the knee straight, hold it, hold it, hold it. You can do one leg at a time for a while. And then if you feel comfortable, you can do both at the same time. You could do a lot of these, like you can squeeze and hold, two, three, four, and release. And squeeze and hold, two, making sure the hips are relaxed and release. Let's do two more like that. Squeeze and hold, two, three. And if the foam roller is too hard, use again a rolled up towel. Now we're gonna drop down one inch and do little pulses. We squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. And remember you're trying to engage that vastus medialis muscle to strengthen, uh, help, it's gonna help the alignment maintain as you bend and straighten the knees. Let's squeeze and hold, two, three, four, and gently release. Okay, so working with the, some of the smaller muscles, we started with the vastus medialis. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to stand. Hands on the hips, comfortable distance between the feet. Shift your weight into one foot. Come to the tip of the other toe. So right now, I'm on my right foot. I'm going to hike my left hip way up, like you're spilling water from the pelvic bowl out to the side. And then lower that same hip way down. So hike that hip way up and lower way down. This is called lateral tilt of the pelvis. And when I do this lift, I'm working my gluteus medius muscle on my upper uh, outer glute, okay? And that's one thing that we're working to strengthen as well with a simple hip hike. Do about eight of those, and we'll do a couple more together. Let's call this six. Two more like this, seven. One more, come up and stay. Now drop down an inch and we do little hip hikes coming up and up and up and up and up and up and up. Eight more we have, eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. You should be feeling that muscle work by now. Now grounding on both feet, shift your weight, come to the tip of the toe, hip hike the other side way, way up and way, way down. About eight of these, way, way up and way, way down. Again, up, up, up. Down, down, down. Let's do a couple more of these. Make sure you're not locking out that supporting leg knee. There's a little bit of softness to it. Lengthen the breath as you can. Let's do two more. Drop down an inch, now 16. One and two and three and four, five and six and seven, eight more. You should be feeling that muscle working and four, and three, and two, and one, and pause. It's also great to uh, train you to get some good dance moves in. <laughs> All right, so next we do a little bit more work for the quads and the glutes, kind of on the bigger scale. Shift your weight into one foot, and we're gonna bend the other knee, laterally rotate, uh, flex just the toes, and you'll lo lower them down. So you're just lightly to, gonna come to touch down with that foot. And we'll just go ahead and from here, actually the arm, the leg that is supporting will be the arm to the small of the back, belly firm, long spine. And we're coming down. Uh, you'll hover above the floor or if you're feeling stronger, you'll go down further. But ideally your back 
is in one long line as you come down. And we're essentially doing, if you were doing this on two legs, it would be like a, a squat. So it's essentially a single leg squat. Heel pressing to the floor as you come up. If you feel strong and you can keep your spine long, you can come all the way down. Be mindful not to shift your weight into the back foot. You're going to feel your quads as you push that heel into the floor and heel uh, pushing to the floor again, feeling quads and glutes working. Let's do a couple more like that. So this is our strength portion. If your knees are touchy, you'll go lower. You won't go as low down. You just do a little bit. So this bent knee strengthening moving in and out of this slight bend of the knee, or if you're feeling strong, you go further. Knee tracking right over the second toe. Let's do two more like this on this side, and then we'll switch sides. And then get ready, shift. You're gonna bend, rotate, and then touch the toe back down. And from here, we come back into our Essentially a single leg squat, heel pushing to the floor as you come back up. Lengthen the breath as you can. Feel free to adjust the height that you're reaching to. If you have a yoga block, you can reach down and touch a block. You can stack up a couple of blocks. If you're feeling strong, remember you come down further. You can see right there if you're tracking the knee properly right over the second toe. Let's do two more on this side. And remember to stay light on that back foot. Okay, great. All right. So that's three so far. We did our vastus medialis strengthening. We did our gluteus medius strengthening. And then we did that sort of bent knee coming in and out of the quads and glutes. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is a little bit of release. So we'll release now uh, the front line of the body. So first of all, coming into a simple quad stretch. You can bring your hands to the wall, hand to ankle. Now, pelvis stays steady, belly firm. And as you bring your hand to your, hand to your foot, first of all, check to see that you didn't lose your alignment, so you didn't tip your torso, belly firm, and lift it. Now, your knee might try to float out to the side. Don't let it. Thigh back will be step one. If that's enough stretch for you, stay there. If you need more, then you can also pull your heel in toward your tush and that will increase the stretch. But remember again, the pelvis stays in place. So nice loosening for the quad. Big breath right here, big breath out. Now, if your knees are touchy or you have a lack of range of motion, what you'll do is you'll use a yoga strap to lengthen your arms. And let's go ahead and get ready for the second side. So I have a strap right here, and I can show you how that works. You can make a loop. A couple of different ways you can do this. You can have like a loop already in the strap like this, or you can just make a loop by doubling it over. Either way, take your time coming in here. Again, depends on what's happening with your body. You might need a little more length for this one. And if you do, then go ahead and use the strap. If you don't, then you reach your hand to your ankle and we'll hold this one again, belly lifted, thigh back is step one. It will be more pressure if you pull the heel into your seat. So if your knees are touchy, you might not go that far, and that's okay. Take a big breath right here. Take a big breath out. Quad stretch. Now we're gonna do another stretch here um, for the shoulders. So we'll start with, you might have a blanket underneath your knees. Why don't I go ahead and do that? And you have a blanket underneath your knees for a little bit more support. Stretching the front line of the body. We'll start with one block, and you have one forearm on the floor, and you'll take your elbow to the front of that block, and then you can adjust the distance as you need. You'll lean back and bring your hand, kind of give yourself a pat on the back. So we're opening the shoulders, and we open the quads a little bit already, addressing the front line of the body. Big breath in, big breath out. So in yoga, when you're working into your backward bends, keeping your quads nice and open and keeping your shoulders nice and open all leads up to supporting some nice backward bends. Let's release and switch sides. So you'll come to your forearm, bring your elbow to the front of the block and then lean back. Feel a nice stretch for the shoulders. Take a big breath in again, big breath out. 
And one more big breath in. And big breath out. You can hang out for like five long breaths. That's roughly 30 seconds. If you wanted to and you felt comfortable, you could do both arms at the same time. Just be careful coming in here that you feel on your balance. You can adjust your legs as you need to and do both arms at the same time. It's a little time saver. And then let's gently release out of that. So we have our two stretches that we did. The three strength moves, two stretches. I want to say in a partridge in a pear tree, but, <laughs> but what we're going to do next is a little release. Okay, so the three pillars of, of a health for your muscle strength, stretch, and yes, release. We'll take this foam roller and we'll start to just come down on the foam roller. So the foam roller is at the tops of the thighs. I'm going to stay parallel here and my belly is firm. And you'll start to walk your way down or the roll will move down towards your feet as you crawl your body forward. Ooh, and that can be pretty intense. So we want to think in general as we do this. We'll stop before we get to the knees, right? So we're on the soft tissue. All right. If you wanted to, you could find a good spot and hang out there. We're going to do the next time we're going to turn the toes out to the side. So we're going to get a little bit more of the middle line, kind of along the lines of the vastus medialis kind of area when you get down there to the bottom. Ooh, and if you have any tightness there, you might really feel it. Again, stay on the soft tissue. Now, I'm feeling this one a little bit myself on my left side. So. Okay, so then we're going to get a little bit to the outer line of the thigh by turning a little bit to the side. So I'm going to use my other leg to help guide. So if I think of the front of my thigh, I'm thinking middle, right in the middle of it, and then toward the middle of the whole setup, and then to the outer edge. Right now I'm doing the outer edge. Ooh -wee. That was a little tight on me. And we can do the other side. the other side on the forearm is not a bad place to start and then we're going to go ahead and use the other foot the top foot to help guide you and i'm trying to again stay on the quad i'm not exactly on the side of the thigh that's your iliotibial band that's going to be a little different we back down And hopefully that leaves your knees in much better shape. So if your quads get kind of too tight, that can, can cause pressure. And hopefully, hopefully these six uh, moves to help your knees will be helpful. If you enjoyed this uh, video, then please hit subscribe and you can receive some more good tips to hopefully help you feel a little happier, a little healthier in your body. Take care and have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.